Melbourne is closer to Antarctica than it is to Darwin. Not if you use miles instead of kilometers, but point taken. What? All I've ever wanted from a yogurt is to know who the cows are. Notice how they named all the cows traditionally girl names? There's a deep connection between misogyny and consuming animals. Man. Oh man, you're getting close. Alright, let's see. Da -da -da -da. Okay, okay, yep, I like numbers. Let's see, the last one is wrong. 5 plus 1 times 10 equals 60. You mixed, you, you mixed the X. I can't talk either, I can't read and I can't talk! The moon landing was faked, apparently. Not sure how NASA could do it 50 years ago and act like it's still in development today. Uh, AKA, they couldn't land on the moon today with the current technology. Okay, whatever you say, dude, whatever you say, brother. Cutting cheese with a knife? Barbarians. We in Scandinavia use this tool. That's why your country not a nation. I, I'm sorry, one more time? I've lived 53 years without needing my insurance. So, they have to be useless and no one needs any. What? Nobody really needs legal or content insurance. I'm 53 and have done really well without both of them. The both of them. Wow. This is what it's like, by the way. I've been leaving these little mess-ups in here just to give you a sense of how hard it is for a professional voice actor to read. <clears throat> anyway, as far as legal insurance go, just stay out of trouble and don't go to court over cases you can't win. Okay. As for content or content insurance, just don't try and live beyond your means. If you have your own home or apartment, build in a safe neighborhood and invest in good doors and windows. If local laws require you to have... to have what insurance? Okay. Mexico is in North America? Hardly. Um, well, sir, I'm a Celt myself. Irish specifically. My ancestry is from Munster County. Munster isn't a county, it's a province. You're gonna mansplain Ireland to me when I'm Irish? A man with an unwashed ass has an opinion again. I'm Irish, you're American. I'm pretty confident I know my country better than you, you gowl. I love that. Uh, Irish specifically, my ancestry's from here, does not mean that you are Irish! Were you born there? Do you live there? Are you a citizen? Well then! Deer antlers actually do fall off their heads every year, setting up our Christmas tree. But it's made of deer antlers. Had the audacity to say no animals were harmed as if the antlers just fell out painlessly. They did. Of course glass bakeware exists. Why wouldn't it? Why would you use a glass pan to bake bread? I don't think a glass pan even exists. Pans are made of metal. Some of them are. S some? You heard of Pyrex? Why y'all aren't changing your tampon every time you pee? So nasty. Can't believe this is even a discussion. I don't understand. If you don't remove the tampon, how does the pee get out? There should be no debate. Pee is absorbed just like blood, leaving no room for future blood to be absorbed. Damn. No, you- those of you that are in the know are just grinning from ear to ear right now. Men are seriously at large stupidly misunderstanding female anatomy to such an extent it- it's kind of funny. People incorrectly correcting other people. Me and my mate were laughing about how the donuts were cheaper if you buy less, and the lady serving overheard us to correct us saying it was a great deal and you saved money buying more. Like, huh, no, it's only a few pence, but still. Joke's on him, because now he wasted $13,000. Let's see, this person just used 13,000 pennies to create the- $13,000? You positive? You want to redo that? Real quick? It's like four bucks, okay? There's eight billion acres of land in Alaska forest. There are currently over eight billion people in the world. We are far past the be fruitful and multiply logic. I'm thankful people are now averse to procreation for procreation's sake. Go about your adulting unbothered. Good person. We're fine. You're fine. Be happy. This is dumb. There's as many people in the world that we could give each one- each person a one acres plot of land in Alaska and be nowhere else. There isn't too many people. You are a stupid person through and through. No, there's far too many people. <laughs> Come on. I don't think that's how the world works, buddy. Planting trees is good, but extra carbon in the atmosphere is already producing more trees. The Earth is greener than it has been in human existence because of how much carbon is in the atmosphere. Plants eat carbon. Which body part maintains your balance? In which the answer is the ears. Let's see. Your brain. How do deaf people keep balance if only their ears keep balance? Your brain takes in the environment and stimuli and reacts, creating balance. It's based on, well, more than your ears. It's not your ability to hear that gives balance. Hey, buddy, that's what I said. Thank you for reiterating my point and 
fewer words, and not establishing any point on either side of this potential debate. The Canadian Constitution doesn't have a Second Amendment or gun protection. We ask that all gun owners put this on their wall. The Supreme Court of Canada has affirmed that the right to keep and bear arms is a fundamental right of the individual. If you believe in the Second Amendment, and you, what? Okay, come on. It's kind of weird that there are some people in Canada that want to cosplay as weird Americans. I mean, come on. I would rather be the one on the left. Smallpox will eventually heal, but pure blood is forever. No, smallpox will kill you, dumbass. Literally never seen a smallpox case in my life. Another fake disease to be scared of? No, we eradicated it, asshole! Unclear whether the angled eggs were right, obtuse, or acute. Hmm, let's see. Making my famous yellow pocket angle eggs. I call them things angle eggs because I refuse to give the deceiver no praise. Hmm. So these eggs could be my angle or my deceiver. I can see that Matt probably flunked his high school grammar class. Nobody has pronouns. You can't have a pronoun any more than you can have a preposition or an adverb. The conception doesn't make any sense. Pronouns are not things you can own. They aren't pets or accessories. They are parts of speech. That's it. You don't get to customize them. Actually, wait, hold on a second. Oh, it's Matt Walsh. This is too easy. The guy's completely lost. I remember when I was doing Hunger Games, nobody had ever put a woman in the lead of an action movie. Okay, I've been seeing this go around, and I'm genuinely curious if this is actually an exact quote from her. I'm super curious, because Jennifer, Jennifer, you're great. We love you. But if you actually unironically thought that no one had ever put a woman in the lead of an action movie, holy crap, how have you not seen any movies? Ripley did not... I... Oh my god. I'm part of that 1% that voted to stray. One vote doesn't count as 1%. Read it again and embarrass yourself. If they need a test dummy for the trip to Mars, please take me. They discovered the Earth was flat in 1942. Who did? Some guys just discovered a giant bubble at the edge of Antarctica and decided, holy hell, God's real, we gotta hide this. How does that make sense? No. They tried sending rockets into space and realized, holy hell, the Earth is flat. They tried telling their comrades, but nobody wanted to believe them because it was their destiny to be Satanists and colonize space. Oh, now it's Satanistic to colonize space. Okay, cool. Before the argument was, oh, it's a waste of money for the human race to expand its horizons. Now it's, you're a Satanist, great. A blind woman was told to get her freaking dog off a bus by a passenger who didn't believe guide dogs could be any color other than yellow. I'm not going to re I'm not going to read the rest. I'm sorry. That's that is next level embarrassing for that person. They're not the same thing. Wait until you find out that Great Britain and the UK are not the same thing. Maybe you don't realize that the country is called the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. It's shortened to UK or GB. I think what you mean is wait until you find out that UK or GB and England are not the same thing. I remember I asked somebody when I went over there to visit a year or so ago, asking them, hey, what is Great Britain? What is England? Well, what is all this silliness? When I was two, my sister was twice my age. Now I'm 40. How old's my sister? Uh, twice two is four, so add four years to her current age. School system failed some. Not only is gas a liquid, but all gases are fluids. Mistakes were made. What? Gasoline is a fluid. We call it gas even though it's not a gas. And no, all gases are not fluids any more than all fluids are solids. Please stop. No, he's right. Fluid in science refers to anything that can flow. This includes liquids, gases, and plasmas. LOL. I'm pretty sure y'all are the scientists who know these things. What? That's a little confusing. If gravity real, then why doesn't ocean go to southern hemisphere? If the Earth was a globe, water flows to lowest point. Oh my god! My ex has a seven on his neck for our son, who died to his heart condition. My son was six when he died, they insist he was seven. How do they insist their math is different and correct? This is how they figured it. He was born in 96 and he died in 2003. Here's the math they failed at. His birthday is August 23rd, he died on March 9th. Okay, let's take a look here. But he was... 1 in 96, 2 in 97, 3 in 98, 4 in 99, 5 in 2000, 6 in 2001, 7 in 2002. So, still 7 in 2003. Don't know where the mistake is. Darwin was an Illuminati shill. His evolution theory is utter bollocks. It was designed to mislead you into thinking you are an insignificant random nothingness in endless eons of... I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry. Everything's random. There is no meaning. We are stardust. 
Bum, ba -da, ba -ba -ba -bum. As some of you know, I have a lay interest in right-wing iconography and style. This is right-wing design. Holy crap, this is the new Twitter Blue logo. Guess they hire... Hi fired anyone whose passion is graphic design. What? This logo's from late 2021, before Musk made a bid for Twitter. How can one person be this wrong, yet try to sound smart in this way? <laughs> okay, yeah, they're definitely a troll. There, are Actually, no, there is singular referring to one person while they're... No. No. My friend tried to tell me that root beer is not a soda. He was serious. That sounds stupid. Why would you even compare root beer to sodas? Root beer is not a soda. What makes a soda? Think of how stupid the average person is and then realize half of them are stupider than that. That would be the median, not the average. The median is a type of average. I'm sorry to have to break this to you, but you're in the bottom half, my friend. The fact that you think Spain ever had colonies or was imperialistic shows you are an imperialistic colonizer. <clears throat> None of these territories were colonies, moron. It's not an animal. If you just want jumping spiders, you can go to an exotic pet show. Or buy them online. Not sure the exact kind, but you can reach out to a store and see what they have. What do you mean, not an animal? Spiders are obviously Dwemer constructs. Spiders aren't animals, they're arachnids. Arachnids are animals. They're in the kingdom Animalia, along with all other arthropods. Well, they aren't plants, fungi, or bacteria. They're animals, more specifically arthropods, even more specifically arachnids, most specifically spiders. McDonald's ad with blatantly false statistics. Here's what free McDonald's for life looks like by the numbers. Let's see. Da -da -da -da. Okay, but here's the problem though, McDonald's. You making stuff up or not, what you just refuse to seem to tell anybody is that if you do win one of these McDonald's for life cards, don't they only let you use it twice a week? I mean, come on. Not understanding striking isn't quitting. Quitting is not the same as striking. They can quit if they want. No, they can't. Why can't they quit their job? That would be a strike. What? Fat and sugar do not occur in nature. They are man-made products, the combination of which make people fat. Pure foods on their own are much more healthy and good against weight gain. Fat and sugar occur all over the place in nature. Honey is a liquidy sugar. Most fruits are relatively high in sugar. Coconuts are 30% fat and 5% sugar. All meats have some quantity of fat. Lots of meat has substantial quantities of fat. When it's 20 below outside, what's solar gonna do for you? Absolutely nothing in December, January, and February. The sun has no power. When will the government try to quit ramming this crap down everyone's throat? I guarantee you the sun has power, even when it's cold. I saw you live in North Dakota, where the Air Force trains pilots because they get more sun in Fargo than in Kansas during the winter. What? Now that last one confuses me a bit. Wouldn't surprise me if Air Force pilots were trained all over the place. I mean, I live in Colorado Springs. We got the Air Force Academy and all that crap right on out here. Air Force Town, yep. Solar power draws heat to the Earth's surface. Hmm. It's funny to me how the people who scream global warming and climate change also want to plow down hundreds of acres of... Hold on. I'm opening up my my can of water here really quick. Okay, okay, we're good. I have no problem with keeping our planet cleaner and picking up trash out of the water when I'm on my boat and things like that, but there's no way you can tell me that cutting down trees and putting up fields of solar panels at high cut. Okay, all right, we're done with you. It's 21. What the hell is wrong with these people? What answers y'all get? Any answer other than 17 is wrong and your education system failed you. I don't do math anymore. I talk. Most toothpastes contain sugar, and dentists give it to us and make us scrub our teeth with sugar. What? I don't know of any dentist that gives out sugary treats as prizes. That was a weird whistle. Apologies. Toothpaste. Most toothpaste have sugar, and the dentist will give it to- No. No. I think the closest thing I've seen to sugar in a toothpaste has been aspartame, or sucralose, which are artificial sweeteners that don't act the same way on your body as sugar. Not saying they're good for you, just they're different. Y'all have grizzly bears in the UK too, right? I love that you think the UK has one ecosystem and the US has another. Hang on one second. Do you actually think the ecology in the UK is the same as in the US? Have you ever been anywhere outside of North America? Oh, so you're just illiterate, how quirky. Name a city in Minnesota that does not have the letter A in it. Arlington? Wow! We are starting strong! Just wanted to warn all of the of a mommies, I'm bloody furious. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be a nightmare. My son's advert calendar has got guns and grenades in it. How inappropriate. I know it's Paw Patrol and their police and all, but this is still not right, is it? Wow, that's hard to read, Jesus. Isn't that an ice skate and a bobble? Why, yes! 
Yes, it is. You are not here. This is a cartoon. Earth is flat. They're right. We aren't in that picture because that's Andromeda. <laughs> Fun fact. Nurses take the baby away from the mother for the first 12 to 24 hours because the female's natural instinct is to kill the baby so that they can avoid taking responsibility and they can go back to Chad slash Tyrone. It's called post-mortem distress birthing. Wow, I genuinely don't know where to start with you, so I'm not going to bother. Let's move on to something a little less awful. You can't catch a virus. It lives in the host. You can only catch a bacteria. Look that one up, idiot. Confidently incorrect. You're wrong. Animal viruses cannot jump to humans. They have to be injected into a human via a flu shot. If you never got a flu shot your entire life, you will not catch this bacteria. Truth. Your. If Facebook doesn't consider this level of disinformation to be terrorism, they need to seriously review their policies. I stopped listening to you guys back in 2017 when y'all put on the worst performance I've ever seen. Singer was drunk and out of breath as soon as he started. We haven't played a show since 2013, so I'm not sure what band you saw in 2017. <laughs> People are freaking idiots. My neighbor's kid just tried to tell me that bats are mammals. Mammals don't fly. We walk and are confined to the ground. No wonder my family in Sweden thinks Americans are dumb. Y'all truly need to educate your kids better. Bats are birds. It is a coincidence. The sun and the moon are the same size. Did you not pay attention during school? The stuff they're teaching in school just flat out doesn't work like that. The sun isn't that big. Someday, we'll have the technology to send you there. As proof, you know? Being Japanese and English doesn't make you biracial unless you have one black parent and one white. What? What's going on here? Every book, which wasn't something, every and many book, consider shortening this phrase. I love this, because there's obviously something very clever going on to analyze patterns of language, but it's also profoundly ignorant. Can someone explain how it's so small? Like how it's both a bonsai and an apple tree? I'm fascinated. They bred an apple tree and a bonsai tree till they got the apple bonsai they wanted. I can try to go into more detail, but that takes a lot of brain power that I don't have right now. What? I love it when people say, I could go into detail, but I won't because it's either boring or I don't want to. What they mean is, I'm lying and making this crap up and I don't actually have the brain power to continue to make it up. So just believe me, please. Believe me, I'm right. Believe me. And yet, the Empire chose to discontinue clones. Sad. Mm, just one missing O can completely change the meaning of your sentence. Sorry if you're American. I realize the American education system changes words to suit themselves, but I'm pretty sure they can still use choose with two O's. But hey, who am I to question the great power? Freaking world we live in today, where men dress like that. That's Christina Aguilera. <laughs> Also, I think men can dress however the hell they want, and it's not any of your goddamn business, you f***ing creep. Remembering John today. Happy birthday, John. Oh, oh. Are you stupid? The global elites. They control the world. You may not know it, but it's time you wake up. You just said global. Globe refers to the round earth. Thank you. You debunked yourself. Yeah, flat earthers are really good at that as it turns out. Voter fraud is not a conspiracy theory. It is a fact. This claim about election fraud is disputed. I canceled my students final and just gave them all a hundred on it. And I structured my winter classes around not having a final. I don't know. Maybe we should just abandon the construct that is the final. Classic example of the dumbing down of America, a person too lazy to do their job. They have a PhD and you live in Kentucky. I think it's great that someone living in Kentucky is a burn in this situation. Any use of tobacco products are prohibited in Chapel Hill parks. Dumbass. The character of Tony Stark was inspired by Elon. No, no he was not. Hi, Adam. I have a slightly nitpicky correction. You say that you can hear the grief in Bach's piece, but at the time, composers didn't really put their own emotion into their music. That wasn't common until the Romantic era. Although we can't know for sure, any feeling of grief in Bach's piece is likely a coincidence. Hey, why don't you go eat more bagels, dude? So what year did they invent emotion? Belgium? Japan? Tintin is English. All I have ever wanted from a yogurt is to know who the cows are. Notice how they named all the cows traditionally girl names? There's a deep connection between misogyny and consuming animals. Big brains, stay woke. Or, 
Or because the cows are girls. I don't know. I'm just spitballing. Girls won't date me because of feminism. Part two out of 19? Dude! Ivanka Trump helped pass out boxes of food on Monday at Christ Chapel in Woodbridge, Virginia. A very classy first lady. Ooh, no. No. Also, is this the same Ivanka Trump that won't allow Secret Service to use her bathroom? I can't have the ball people touching my toilet, even though I also go poopy in there. All will see the truth. Just wait. You do realize that's the flag of Liberia, right? Yes. Yes, we will. We already have, but you people can't seem to get your blinders off. What? Science spelled backwards is Echnix, an ik- Oh, wow. A device used by pagans to summon Satan himself to brainwash children and turn them into literal sheep. These pagans were called Scientists? Scientists? Scient- Scient- Today's scientists use this to brainwash our kids. It's so nice seeing that capped off with MAGA and Flat Earth. The swine flu and the attempt for a vaccine by the Obama administration with Joe Biden in charge was a complete and total disaster. Now they want to come in and take over one of the greatest and fastest medical miracles in modern day history? I don't think so. H1N1 started in April of 2009, three months after Obama and Biden took office. September 15th, 2009, four H1N1 vaccines were approved by the FDA. Five months after the first reported cases, 17,000 total deaths. More than 17,000 people died of coronavirus last week, you gaslighting son of a Klansman. For the record, Islam was around before homosexuality. I think people should stop being gay before they stop following Islam. Just my two cents. You can keep your pennies, sir. If you're Irish and you complain about Britain erasing culture but can't even speak the language and don't know crap about Ireland before 1910, then just shut your cake hole. Nobody cares. Them being Irish and not being able to speak the language or not knowing crap about Ireland before 1910 is a direct result of Britain erasing culture, you goddamn vitamin D deficient circus clown. Japanese cartoons are all the same, so name any and it'll fit. Right, because Attack on Titan and Pokemon are totally the same thing. Pokemon isn't Japanese. At least the show isn't. <laughs> Wait a what? Buff dude, I kissed 50 times more girls than you did. Me, 50 times zero is zero. Actually, if it's 50 times zero, it's 50. But zero times 50 is zero. Or was that the joke? I can't tell. You certainly can't, can you? Why the hell are you and that other white chick wearing kimonos? You white people need to stop taking Japanese culture. Also, you two look horrible in the kimonos. It doesn't even match you. Well, it's not a kimono. And yeah, so... <laughs> The leader of the Democrats is worth $248 million. Why doesn't she put her money where her mouth is? There are 209 million legal Americans, taxpayers, above the age of 18. If you divide Nancy's net worth by the number of legal age taxpayers, we would each get 1.18 million. I wish all people struggling for eight months in the middle of a record-breaking pandemic a very $600. Wow, that math. That goddamn math. Not every job should have a living wage. That's not healthy for society. It's not healthy for someone making ice cream cones at Dairy Queen to make enough to live off of. You want a society that actually can't live off of these jobs. Holy God. I, s ooh, I hope that is a joke. I hope it's a terrible, terrible joke, you disgusting little bastard. Doctors say Rudy Giuliani's white blood cell count was so low, but he's demanding a recount. White blood cells because he's white. I get it. Racist. I suppose his blood cells would be yellow if he was Chinese. Holy crap, you're a freaking moron. <laughs> I really like Ritz, but it wrong in God's eyes to see man and man or woman and woman. It's one man, one woman. Remember, Sodom and Ga Gramora. He destroyed them. <laughs> I will not support that. Sodom and Gonorrhea. Thank you, of course. To the person who messaged me yesterday with this. I thought you should know that Fane is spelled wrong. It looks sloppy and gives a bad impression if there are spelling mistakes. It's my actual name, and I've been spelling it that way for all of my life, so... Ooh, that's a fancy MAGA hat. trump -eached. If Trump is impeached, Pence becomes president. Pence pardons Trump and appoints him vice president. Pence resigns, Trump becomes president and appoints Pence as his vice president. Liberal heads explode. I don't know why I pronounced resigns like that, but 
Oh, my mind is elsewhere right now, you know? I seriously want to know how putting oil in a tube and transporting it contributes to the climate getting hotter. Seriously, please. What happens to the oil after it gets transported, Charlie? Also, think about how you transport this stuff. I mean, seriously. You think all of the giant cargo ships and trucks and trains and all of that stuff don't use any energy whatsoever? Hey man, don't discount that cousin. They'll probably be chilling together at some point. Just spell the word out properly, please. It's properly. When you use language like this, it makes it clear that you're a bit of a dumbass. Probably, not properly. Maybe I got wrong what they wanted to say, but grammatically, they is still treated as a plural, not singular. You will say, what are they doing? And not, what is they doing? Even if you are referring to one person. Maybe I got wrong what they wanted to say, but grammatically they is still treated as a plural. What they wanted to say. You literally just used it as a singular pronoun. Let me do some quick math. $500 million for Israel. Population is over 8 million. That equates to over $65 million a person. U.S. citizen gets $600. Holy God. Oh, I failed like four math courses throughout high school and I am still smarter than some of these people. Oh, because I'm blonde and pretty. Couldn't be smart. Racist. Blonde and pretty is a race now? When you judge someone based on their appearance, it's racism. <laughs> okay. You'll believe anything, won't you? The word there is want. Learn to spell uneducated Biden supporter. That's the best yet. The word is actually won't. Love that you called me uneducated. No, stupid, it's want. You said you believe that you won't to. The proper word is want in that sentence. Some guy made an 11 hour response to my Joker video. Oh my God. Holy crap, someone said something I don't agree with, so it must be about the video I made. Okay. I thought it might be a response to me because they put my face in the thumbnail and titled it Response to Jenny Nicholson. Well, they could mean any Jenny Nicholson, Jenny. Why don't you just calm down, okay? We will never rewrite the Constitution of the United States. If there wasn't a rewrite, you wouldn't be a senator and also couldn't vote. Oh, and I'd be enslaved. Shout out to England for trying the vaccine first. Well, they don't have rights in England, so they probably didn't have a choice. You're not even allowed unpasteurized cheese in the US. Don't tell me your rights. The only rights you have above and beyond the UK is the right for a person with a room temperature IQ to buy a gun. Just made medium rare chicken strips. They're so good. Can't believe I haven't tried it like this before. Can't wait to dig in with my homemade salad and veggies. Um, you're gonna get salmonella. Uh, don't think so. This is chicken, not salmon. Sorry, sweaty. This holiday, I'm gonna stay home in my trash can and avoid people. I'm old enough to remember when Sesame Street was non-political. Shame on those using what was once beloved characters to push an agenda. Sesame Street was literally conceived and brought to life as a way to combat racism in America and bring education into the homes of children. Especially children of color, you ding-a-ling. Sesame Street's building blocks are political. Do some basic research. Imagine not realizing that your nation through its history has been successful thanks to cheap labor from slaves, indentured servants, and immigrants. Americans built this country, and we don't need to import a third world slave class to make it successful. Ooh, Lauren, Lauren, come on. The immune system doesn't need to be trained. Works well without toxic chemicals in food, water, air, and vaccines. The human race would have been wiped out thousands of years ago if people needed vaccines. Tell that to smallpox. I swear these do not know how to spell on their story and they're like 15. Oof. The doctor said I was anime. Huh? Not enough iron. Oh, anemia. No, it's anime. Learn to spell, idiot. Stands. A group of people trying to meet other people with similar interests while expressing this interest through shared morals, love, and creativity. Is, is that that guy that trends on Twitter every 14 seconds? For literally no reason? Every flu season, about 400,000 die in the US, mostly elderly people with illnesses like diabetes and obesity, and that's normal. The number of people who die each year from flu-related causes in the U.S. is 8,200 to 20,000. Source, Center for Disease Control. So, where the F did you get your number from? They changed statistics since last March, like they changed election results. Oh, yeah, yeah, just give up. You're never gonna change this freak's mind. Every time I use they to refer to a single gender unknown person on Tumblr, another piece of my grammar-filled heart shatters and the pieces scatter at the bottom of hell. They has been a singular pronoun for hundreds of years, you melodramatic dip. Well, actually, no. 
They is plural. People use they when they should use he, she, or it. You dense mofo. The pronoun they is an English equivalent for the third person indefinite singular, and has been for literally centuries. It remains morphologically and syntactically plural. Therefore, you don't need to your little pantaloons at compromising your surely rock-solid grammar rules. I guarantee every freaking time you've ever had to refer to a person as an unknown gender, you've used they subconsciously. The post clerk gave me a message for you. Oh, what did they say? But you only have a problem with it when people specifically use it as a pronoun for themselves because you're a sh lord, I can guess. Not only do masks reduce your oxygen levels and increase your CO2 intakes, which makes you wheeze and gasp, but they also provide perfect warm, damp breeding grounds for pathogens to breathe in that'll progressively make you ill. For those who want more respiratory illnesses, job done. Absolutely none of that is true. And your exact qualifications for stating that are a degree in medicine. Oh, and a fellowship of the Royal College of Anesthetists, for which I was examined in respiratory physiology and the mechanics of gas transfer. <laughs> really hope I pronounced some of those words correctly. Canada just announced it'll provide the new COVID vaccine to every Canadian who wants it for free. That's great. Just out of curiosity, which country was it that developed the vaccine? Wonder why. Oh, thanks for asking, Ted. The Pfizer BioNTech vaccine was developed in Germany by a pair of immigrant scientists from Turkey. Is that how you say BioNTech? 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 I don't give a crap. Screw you, Ted Cruz. You're a piece of shit. What if, instead of a vaccine, we were just able to get exposed to a weak version of the virus that enabled us to build the antibodies we need to fight the real thing? Okay, what if? And hear me out here. Instead of alphabets, we use lines to create characters that, when assembled, could be formed into words. I can't believe anti-vaxxers just invented vaccines. He was Darth Vader before he put on the suit. Super wrong right there. Haven't been able to come up with a vaccine for the flu, but able to come up with one for a new virus in a matter of months? There's literally a flu vaccine. Are you kidding me? Asymptomatic viruses are not infectious. You need symptoms to pass on a virus. Do a little homework and you'll understand that. Oh, baby. Just remember, the world is filled with literally hundreds of millions of people like this. She's not gay. She was saying that then to keep the creeps away. Now, she says that to keep a high but private profile without having to get married and still keep the creeps away. She's married to a woman. She literally has a wife. You gotta love guys that are so freaking insecure that they absolutely do not believe that lesbians exist. Uh-uh, they can't exist. I'm way too sexy for a woman to be gay. Why don't they want me? No candidate has ever won both Florida and Ohio and lost. I won them both by a lot. Wrong. Richard Nixon won both Florida and Ohio and still lost to JFK. Also, Nixon was only impeached once. I'm an agnostic who was raised Catholic, and I very much celebrate Christmas, not Xmas or the holidays. The X in Xmas is the Greek letter chi. Hope I'm saying that right. The first letter in the Greek word for Christ. The abbreviation was created by medieval monks who loved to abbreviate as they had to write tomes by hand. All right, I definitely did not pronounce that right. I did not pronounce that word. You know what? I don't care. It doesn't matter. I'm stupid. Let's move on. English. Traditional. English. Simplified. Traditional? They actually spoke like Americans until we won the revolution and then they started faking an accent. I don't think we're talking about accents here. I think we're talking about spelling. You know, like the typey typey righty righty onto paper? Like that, you freaking moron. Allergies don't have to be scary. Spray Flonase daily and stop your body from overreacting to allergens. Psst, psst, you're good. Or go vegan and inner inflammation levels plummet and allergies go away on their own. What? I swear to God, if anybody online calls themselves a guru of any type, don't listen to a word they say. Unless it's the blender guru. Because let me tell you, that guy is amazing. In which continent is Argentina located? South America? <laughs> South America isn't a continent. It isn't? Whoa, dude, don't believe him. Don't believe him. Oh my God, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> Guys, when are you gonna open your eyes? South America isn't real, okay? It was just something we made up for bedtime stories. Hey, jackass, we use miles per hour in this country. Wheels is an Australian magazine. We use metric measurements. You're on the internet, which is American. Therefore, you can use American, the best measurements. 
Actually, the World Wide Web was first developed in CERN. I don't blame you for not knowing that. You're apparently an American. <laughs> <laughs> At least a few of these have felt like someone trying to joke and be funny, but sarcasm and irony really doesn't come across through text very well. And I guess to be fair, sarcasm and irony is lost on some people. That awkward moment when this short gets more views than the original video. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That guy has to be messing with him, right? I've done stuff like that before, come on. <laughs> There's no such thing as biracial. Stop lying. I hope you're being ironic. No, it's the truth. Biracial is imaginary bullcrap made by people who are deluded to the obvious. Okay, that made no sense. So people of mixed race aren't real? Do you know how crazy you sound? Oh, I think they're very, very aware of how crazy they sound. They just don't care. Some people have found that they like the sound of their own bullcrap. <laughs> I bet this guy smells his own farts. The US dollar is only 50 years old. Bitcoin is 12 years old. Bitcoin has been around a quarter of the time of the dollar's existence. What? No, 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 seriously. You think the dollar is only 50 years old? This is wildly, painfully, and incredibly wrong. Here's a real x-ray. It's cute, but it's 2021. Let's all be intelligent and not spread lies. Uh, this photo is actually real. It's just a kitten, not a cat. The gaps between the bones are fibrocartilage that haven't turned to bone yet, or aren't fully ossified. Happens in young animals. You could learn a thing or two from this website right here. No, I'm telling you right now, this person is going to refuse to learn anything other than what they think they already know. Dear every cashier in America, the proper response to thank you is, you're welcome, not no problem. And you're supposed to thank me. Ah, we got an arrogant up in here. Millennials are so entitled. Actually, the you're welcome, no problem issue is simply a linguistics misunderstanding. Older people tend to say you're welcome. Younger people tend to say no problem. This is because for older people, the act of helping or satiating someone is seen as a task that is not expected of them, but is them doing extra. So it's saying, I accept your thanks because I know I deserve it. No problem, however, is used because younger people feel not only that helping or assisting someone is a given and expected, but also that it should be stressed that your need for help was no burden to them, even if it was. Basically, older people think that help is a gift you give. Younger people think help is an expectation required of them. Damn straight. I genuinely can't wait until the sensibilities of the boomer generation die off with them because I'm really sick and tired of this entitlement. If if the cashier doesn't give me a tuck and rub, then, well, they deserve to be fired. Also, I completely just invented that term. I don't know what a tuck and rub is. If you would like to Google that, you can go right ahead, but I'm not going to do it. Um, I'm all about support for your country, but I'm pretty sure there's a Z in there. Huh. Alrighty then. Are you seriously using Asian things in your art? That's culture appropriation. Bro, I'm Chinese. <laughs> People are freaking idiots. My neighbor's kid just tried to tell me that bats are mammals. Mammals don't fly. We walk and are confined to the ground. No wonder my family in Sweden thinks Americans are dumb. Y'all truly need to educate your kids better. Bats are birds. All right, this just in, everybody. Bats hey, are now officially birds. They also lay eggs, are cold-blooded, and have no fur or hair on them whatsoever. <laughs> All right, here we go. This one's going to be a doozy. Genders, male, female, mental disorders, agender, andro androgy, 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 whatever, androgynous, bigender, cis, cisgender, cis female, cis male, cis man, cis woman, cisgender female, cisgender male, cisgender man, <gasps> cisgender woman. Jeez, that is just a whole lot of stupidity to unpack. Some unpacking that we're definitely not going to do here. Let's move to the next one. Europe is okay regarding medicine. A middle income life, but is mostly like a third world country. People don't know about anything else going on outside their frontiers. Bro, do you know Europe is not a country, right? Huh? R slash no stupid questions? Oh boy. Everyone in France uses cursive cause it's quick and neat. It's not being taught anymore in the US? 
Cursive can't be done in French because they have accents over their letters that require you to lift your pen. You know how when you finish writing a word, you go and add the dots to the I? Same thing. I don't add that stuff afterwards, I do it while I'm writing. Am I weird for that? I mean, I guess to be fair, my handwriting never left the third grade, so doesn't matter anyway. If a centaur was a car, would it look like this? Or like this? <laughs> God, I hate that. Please learn the differences between a centaur and a minotaur. No, I think they got it right. My dog was declared cancer-free today, so I'm reverse searing him a steak. Hashtag the real MVP. Aw, oh, what a good boy. The Bible says you don't feed animals back to animals. It will make him sick. Dogs like carrots. Dogs like cereal products. Did you live under power lines as a kid? If major Dogecoin holders sell most of their coins, it will get my full support. Too much concentration is the only real issue, in my opinion. The dollar is the most valuable currency in the world, Elon. $10,000 would make you a millionaire in Europe. You should be ashamed of yourself for not recognizing that. Okay, this guy has to be kidding, right? There's no way this mofo unironically just said that. You know how poor I felt when I went to visit the UK? Dude. <laughs> A viral video features a fanny pack wearing patron raising hell at a Dunkin Donuts after ordering a dozen munchkins and expecting to get 50. 50, five zero, that's what a dozen is, not 12. Well, I guess by your math, that makes you at least a dozen pounds overweight. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry, I know it's a low blow, low hanging fruit, but I don't care. You treat people like this, I'm gonna treat you bad back. 18,000 year old puppy found frozen in ice, the oldest confirmed dog ever. Ha, <laughs> this is false. Earth's only 6,000 years old. Oh God, nope, sorry, too easy, we're moving on. Of course a vaccine stimulates innate immune systems. Of course a live virus vaccine like varicella elicits an innate immunity. What a strange piece of misinformation to have been spread. Injecting a virus with a juvens into your muscle with a syringe is not the same as getting an infection through your mucosa, nor is the reaction. Thinking this is just not ignorant and very unscientific. Huh? Please educate yourself on the immune system and the latest info about it. Oh, okay. This is the assistant professor of epidemiology and immunology, and he's a physician at Harvard School of Public Health and Medicine. Also studies vaccines, immunity, infectious diseases, and public health. Maybe, just maybe, he knows a little bit about this. Maybe even more than you. In what world does baguette means wand? It's bread in French. Why would they fight with bread? It's just a sloppy translation overall. No, actually baguette means wand. The name for the bread is actually, oh man, I'm sorry, I'm not gonna try and read a French anything, which can be translated to wand of bread. It doesn't mean bread at all. It means wand, so baguette, is the right way to call a wand. No, you're wrong, it means bread. Everyone uses it that way. Okay, I guess that guy wins. Well then, everyone uses it wrong. What can I say? I just told you it's a good translation and I'm French. I will look it up later, but I'm pretty sure you're using it wrong. Oh my God. He's right though. Baguette just means wand, not bread. Don't know where you learned that? Before they turn 18, one in six boys experience some form of sexual abuse. One in four girls experience some form of sexual abuse. Except for the fact that boys don't experience some form of sexual abuse ever. And all apparent cases of male sexual abuse are always from people who lack any understanding of the definition of such terms. Sexual abuse involves mental trauma. Males do not experience mental trauma as they are incapable of doing so. Similar to how males cannot experience emotions such as remorse and generosity, and therefore the term sexual abuse does not apply to men. It seems like it got cut off here and I'm very, very happy about that because whether or not this person was trying to be funny, ooh, I wish I could punch them directly in their teeth. I don't care how much it hurts my hand, I wanna make them suffer. Goodbye, sub. I've just finished Flowers for Algernon, and I look forward to never reading another book in my life. Not only did I finish it, but I finished it in a winter storm at three o'clock in the morning with no power. So there was no screaming at my fellow bookish friends or this sub. Couldn't even scream into a pillow because I didn't wanna wake my family. My only choice was to die internally. I know I'm late, but phew. What, you don't read much? Flowers for Algernon is not a book, by the way. It's a short story. Are we really gatekeeping books now? Learn better grammar. 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 Are you kidding me? <laughs> 
Just pre-ordered a box set. I'm pissed that the shipping is $45. I hate Europe for that. Portugal is the Greece of Europe, I swear. Portugal is in Europe. So is Greece. No, it isn't. Look at the globe. Oh, God. You know what? At least this person said globe. All right, I was beginning to think with logic like this, they were a flat earther, but hey, they said globe. So we got that going for us, huh? Sure, that all makes perfect sense. Poverty is correlated with poor health outcomes all around. However, wealth inequality does not cause poverty. That's literally what wealth inequality is. <laughs> oh man, this person genuinely, genuinely doesn't realize, and I don't think they ever will. Why do people like to mention Canada's free healthcare system? If it's so good, then why do they all come here and use our doctors and our resources and bail and leave us the tab on it? I think hospitals need to refuse service to Canadians who are here on visit, and if not, put a flat charge up front. $200 sounds fair to me. Free healthcare is not a good thing, because it allows doctors to decline helping you for any reason, which is why they always come to the US. I'm sorry, I gotta know where this mofo got this information. Hey, Canadian viewers, how many of y'all come down to this hellhole to get anything treated? I can see maybe going to a plastic surgeon because you want to pay for the best service possible to get something done, but <laughs> I don't think any sane Canadian in their right mind is thinking, I'm going to go to the US and put myself in permanent debt so that I can get my cold treated. People are like trees. They fall down when you hit them multiple times with an axe. He did. <laughs> be committed to never depriving your husband sexually. There'll be times you're just not in the mood, but that's not an excuse according to the Bible. Our bodies are not our own and we need to joyfully serve their needs. Oh God, if I could die never hearing anything about or from the Bible again, I think I would die a somewhat happier man. Somebody's mad because Trump didn't get impeached. Oh no, he did, twice. He didn't, though. He did. An impeachment is putting an official on trial for high crimes and misdemeanors. You see, what didn't happen was we didn't convict him either time. Now, I'm not going to get into all that nonsense, but he was impeached twice. That is a fact. <laughs> Water, one mile. Water, one kilometer. Americans. But the Americans are right. A mile is less than a kilometer. <laughs> one mile is 1.6 kilometers. You guys are saying he's wrong, but he isn't. One mile is the equivalent to 1.6 kilometers. If he wanted water, the mile sign would be closer. Oh, oh, you poor guy. Hey, my dude, how about this? The next time you're at the gym, say on the treadmill, change it over from miles to kilometers and see which one you hit first. Just a thought experiment. I'm not expecting any results or anything, but it might be worth a try. Today I learned what T-I-L means. You've also learned how to spell learned and two symbols to put at the end of sentences. The more you know. And now you can learn that learned is also a word, much like color and color. And realize or realize the more you know before correcting other people. Do solar panels work in the cold? Yes, solar panels work by absorbing light from the sun, not heat. In fact, the chemical reactions that occur within the solar panels are more efficient at cooler temperatures. Also, white snow can act like a mirror to reflect more light onto them. It's a bit cold outside this morning in the middle of America. Aren't you glad you aren't heating your home with a solar panel like nitwit socialists? <laughs> oh man, these people are completely helpless. There will be no educating them on anything that could fundamentally make the human race better. How can you not be in awe at solar power? We went from burning crap to power stuff to, hey, you know, if we just put this thing out underneath the sun and makes electricity, how we do that? How is that not amazing to you? Jeez. Well, you're not even remotely right here at all. Arguably, I'm more pissed off at the guy with his schnoz sticking out of the mask than the old guy that conveniently forgot to put it on. That's right, I see you old people. You didn't forget. You just don't want to put it on and you're hoping that no one's going to call your ass out on it just because you're old. Respect your elders, even if they lead by incredibly stupid example. For those that didn't pick up on that, that's called sarcasm. 
So this may be the American education system in me, but that height chart bugs the hell out of me. It should be like 1.8 meters. 180 centimeters isn't correct metric. I didn't spend years mixing up deci and deca for people to just ignore unit conversions like this. What the f are you talking about? 100k a year to take someone's order at Taco Bell? Totally makes sense. Where the hell did you get that number? If someone's working enough hours to make that on $15 an hour, they deserve it. $15 an hour on a person working 40 hours a week makes $31,200 a year. I'm getting real sick and tired of these people noticing that these jobs exist and they need to exist, but they also recognize that the people that are doing those jobs day in and day out do not deserve, for whatever reason, to be paid a living wage. They feel that you should be paid so little that you can barely survive. They don't mind you being homeless, just so long as they get their crunch wrap supreme. Weird how GOAT can mean best player, but it can also mean worst player. Literally no one anywhere has ever used GOAT to refer to the worst player. <laughs> Only in America is the term GOAT used for a good player. It took me ages to figure out it meant greatest of all time. In other countries, being called a GOAT is a negative. Well, chalk me up as a guy that had no idea that other countries used it as the opposite. Honestly, GOAT, I've only heard that used the last, like, six or seven years here anyway, so whatever, man. You and blank matched. You do know what pansexual means, right? Obviously. Sorry, wasn't being rude. I think you're hot, but that means you like your family as well. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it does. Oh, are we gonna sit here while you tell me what things about me mean? Very, very few things are quite as arrogant as telling somebody else what things about their life mean to them or telling somebody else about them. You don't get to do that. You are not me. I'm gonna punch you in the butt cheek. She kind of has a point. How the heck are you three inches erect? Unless you jerk off like 20 times a month, that shouldn't be possible. Whoa, 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 wait. Is this mofo implying that the more you masturbate, the shorter you- You know what? Of course that's what he means. Let's read the rest of this. That's not how penises work, my dude. They do. It is just the dude above jerks off with a cheese grater. Why are you getting downvoted? Yes, it is how it works. When you jerk off so much, you get less horny. Less horny equals less penis size. <laughs> oh man, is there anybody out there in the world that wants to corroborate this? I like it all. Haha, <laughs> uh -huh, with Morgan Freeman. Uh, well... You know what, whatever, fine. I guess you can have that one. Ah, black crayons. It's Spanish. No, it's racist. Time to cancel Spanish. That's racist. Oh my God. Usually you stop looking at the black crayon translations like that after about fourth grade saying it out loud. But the fact that this person's probably a grown ass adult saying it, woohoo! Someone never got taught anything about other cultures while they were growing up and it shows. My brother tried very hard blank calm during the hurricane, staying, to staying, stay, to stay. Somehow this is incorrect, so they're saying that my brother tried very hard stay calm during the hurricane is correct. Are we gonna go with that? That's what we're rolling with now, huh? Reminds me of how in software gore, no matter what the tester quiz, that stuff is always messed up. The slightest little thing will get you a wrong answer. Oh, you put a space at the end of your answer that shouldn't count towards anything? Wrong! You just failed your quiz. You're gonna have to retake the entire college semester. I'm sorry, I legitimately have no idea what I'm talking about anymore. So somebody just explained to me how what I just posted to a subreddit wasn't suitable for that sub. I replied that as the creator, moderator, and basically only contributor to said subreddit, I respectfully disagree. And he reported me. To me. <laughs> Oh, it's absolutely not lost on that person. I guarantee you they knew exactly what they were doing. <laughs> uh, they just wanted to be an a-hole for the sake of being an a-hole. That's really all there is to it. Bruh, you can still be a virgin even if your virginity is gone. I mean, I'm not really gonna argue against it. If I meet somebody and for some strange reason, I'm a virgin, comes up in a conversation, I'm not gonna go, hey, we're gonna have to check that, okay? I'm gonna need you to prove it to me. Otherwise, I don't believe you. And imagine how creepy that is. 
Plus, it's not anybody's business but your own anyway. <laughs> FYI, the ancient Egyptians were white. Please tell me you people don't actually believe that black people built the pyramids. Please tell me that you don't honestly believe that white people lived in the desert for thousands of years and stayed white the whole time. What the hell are you smoking? No, really, I want to know because I want a bit of it myself. It seems real strong. Not in this weather, you don't. You realize not everyone lives in America and we all have different weather, but it's winter everywhere, lol. You don't get winter in one spot and other seasons in other places. Pretty sure some areas winters may be warmer, but still. Oh, honey. <laughs> Your is the exact same thing as you are. Ooh, you were so close. You're off by just a little bit. You can do it, I believe in you. Just try one more time. You're stupid. You're exactly. <laughs> Check and mate. Zero ain't a number as far as I know. Well, it's good to know that you don't know very far. <laughs> you know about as far as you can throw. That's all there is to it. Elon Musk, I'll put a man on Mars in 10 years. Well, could they survive jumping into a volcano? I think not. Chessmate, checkmate, chessmate, checkmate. I kind of like chess, mate. You seem happy and put together mentally, so yeah, you're definitely a women. Wait, so men can't be happy and put together? That I've seen? No. I'm so sorry for you. Yes, but I would say the average American doesn't have an accent. Only an American would think they don't have an accent. Oh no, I definitely have an accent. It's just where I'm from in the country, up in eastern Washington state, I do believe that I somehow ended up with the most generic... American accent, if you will. The most vanilla. Everything feels or sounds, at least to me, to be very flat for an American accent. There's no real isms or twang or anything like that. The only thing I've picked up is since moving to Colorado in 2014, I don't say Colorado anymore. I say Colorado a lot. I say I that, that freaking Coloradan accent really gets me sometimes. What are you, a printer? Call it blue like a normal person. I don't know how to tell you this, but cyan and the standard color palette, blue, are wildly different colors. You'd never mistake one for the other. Wanna bet? If you're one of these off-white folks... Wait, wait, let me read that again. Wanna bet? You are one of these off-white folks. If you tell me there are more than eight colors, I'm gonna tell you no. What? The Russian sleep experiment is not a creepy pasta. it's a real thing. You're all just brainwashed. There's so much you don't know. But it's okay, when the revelation comes, you won't be needed. Whatever you say, dude. It's been a year since the last time I announced this, so I think it's time for my yearly update. PSA, we do not pee out of our vagina. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. See you next year. Well, you probably don't do it out of your asses, although you do talk a lot out of there. LOL. And that leaves the vagina, unless there's a third hole somewhere for the pee to come out of. You're getting there, buddy. You're getting there. Morning. Where did you move to Portland from? I'm also newish. Were. Where did you move to Portland from? I'm also newish. Before the Civil War? Republicans did not exist before the Civil War. Lincoln was the first Republican. Read a history book. Gas prices see fastest decline in over a decade. What does that have to f do with what he said? What? The FBI is a oh. Look, I know why you're saying it. I feel like in general, we could consider the FB FBI to probably be a bit of an ass. CIA is a bit of an ass. NSA's definitely an asshole, but the reason you think it is, I don't agree. This cake makes me angry. It's not a lava cake, it's a bunt cake with chocolate sauce in the middle. Lava cake cores should be hot, but uncooked batter from under baking the cake, and the cake should be made for each individual. Slicing a syrup-filled bunt cake is just a disappointing mess. Stop posting this travesty. Pedant? Pedant here? Please don't underbake a cake expecting a molten gooey center. You'll just be disappointed. Lava cakes have a puck of frozen ganache in the center. As they bake, the ganache melts, and they have to be small so that the cake can cook, therefore the ganache cooks as well. LOL, yeah, for someone getting so upset about it, they also misunderstood the assignment. I've seen enough whatever to know it's frozen ganache. That is a very fun word to say. 
Wouldn't you agree? Also, I know what a lava cake is. I've seen the movie Chef. Over a 100-year-old quote, everything that can be invented has been invented by the U.S. Office of Patents Commissioner Charles H. Duell in 1899. You sure about that, Charles? Let's catch up with Charles now and see what he has to say, huh? Scientists studying Mount Everest, the tallest mountain in the world, have found fossils of fish embedded in the rock at the mountain's peak, tens of thousands of feet above sea level. Researchers believe water has reached these heights in the past, hinting that the Earth was once flooded. Okay, Mr. TikTok, you got a source? No, seriously, where's your source? Stop believing stuff without a source, and I don't mean Google is your friend or Google it or do your own research. That's not on me. The burden of proof is on the dingleberry that made the claim. So you make the claim, you give the evidence. I swear to God, if your evidence is also just another person saying random stuff with no sources, no, that's not a source, I'm gonna come over there and whoop yo ass. Can you not read? I can. And I know that when you're asking something, you have to put a question mark at the end of the sentence. They were clearly saying it rhetorically, which wouldn't require a question mark. Rhetor- You sure, OP? That does not seem right. Rhetorically? I don't know. No one told me I could retire and live off of $200,000 cash. <laughs> Rich is when you take $200,000 cash and buy a Lamborghini. Wealthy is when you take $200,000 cash and buy an asset that pays you 10K a month. You can then finance the Lamborghini at 0% interest and your monthly payment will be just under $3,400 for five years. Take the 10K in cash. <sighs> and cash flow from your asset you purchased. The first 3400 is for your Lamborghini payment, and now you have 6600 left over each month to do whatever you want with. After five years, your Lamborghini is paid off and you still have that asset producing 10K a month. Rich is temporary, wealthy is generational. If you don't come from a wealthy family, don't worry, a wealthy family can come from you. $200,000 sure is a life-changing amount, but what asset, what asset are you thinking of could possibly, for sure, as per this whole blurb of bull <laughs> guaranteed, for certain, make me $10,000 a month for seemingly the rest of my life, or at least six years, because, you know, we've already paid off that Lamborghini, right? What asset? If you say landlord, I'm gonna kick your ass. How many wrongs makes a right? Do four rights make a left? Three. Uh, wait. Ryerson or George Brown grad? TMU grad? What's the difference? You you don't think it's three? It's the R, not the S. This dumbass put the S backwards in the wrong place with putting the Ross logo. Um, uh, sir? Save with two at once. Hey, would you look at that? I'm saving so much money, dude. That's insane. Oh, I hate that crap so much. Why does deodorant have to be so expensive? It doesn't even frickin' work. But I, I still use it. I still use it. I'm, I'm not saying that I don't believe in deodorant. Don't start coming to my Twitter calling me stinky. Say you don't know baseball without saying you don't know baseball. Minnesota Twins got away with a win tonight over the Toronto Blue Jays in which betters and handicappers alike should be infuriated. The cave at bat was called a strike, effectively ending his at bat in which would had been an out. Cave swung his bat, which was strike three as noted even by the announcers. How was he awarded first base? The ball came off the catcher's protective equipment and went foul. Furthermore, the runner on third's hand never touched home plate. Okay, I don't know how to tell you that I don't understand baseball that much, but nothing that he said really made any sense to me. D uh, to be fair, I don't know a damn thing about baseball. Then you talk sh** and won't back it up. So let's do who losses next time. I know damn well it isn't me. Loses. Can't even correct me right. You spelled it wrong, idiot. Search it up, then come back. He never came back, did he? This guy said dogs don't use sight to recognize things on a video of a dog with a VR headset. Dogs can't recognize a tree or bird just by giving him a video. The nose is their primary sense. Of course they can. I'm living next to a wheat field and my dog recognizes other dogs kilometers away. I don't know why so many other people liked your comment. Maybe it's because you said it confidentially? But if a dog has seen birds before, it can see the birds. Holy sh**, it makes Senki now. It's spelled sneeze, not Senki. Not quite, but you're on the way. I love them both. Sweat makes you slippery to predators. No, sir. That's KY jelly. That's the only reason it's made, right? Social anxiety facts. No one's thinking about you as much as you think they are. 
the more nervous you feel, the more important this situation is to your soul. It's all an energy game. Social anxiety is completely normal. You sweat because your body is trying to make you more slippery to predators. I'm helping you turn anxiety into confidence, so hit that with a follow... Hit that with a follow button? Hit that follow button. I don't know. I've got this sneaky suspicion that sweating is actually to assist your body in cooling down, but what the f*** do I know? I only paid attention in human biology. You can't just go looking for evidence until you've proven beyond a shadow of a doubt that the person is guilty. You need a rock-solid appeal proof conviction, and then you can go looking for evidence. What? The language just happened to die after England invaded. Nothing to do with the English, of course. I'm sorry, my brain stopped loading for a moment. Mate, I've been all over Cornwall. It, I'm, I'm not gonna do it, I'm just f***ing with you. I've been all over Cornwall, and nobody there speaks Cornish. This is an undeniable fact. The Cornish language declined because of the Cornish themselves, not because of the Cornish being oppressed by the English. What are you talking about? So usually he's very standoffish with all his girlfriend's friends. He's very what? Standoffish? Like being formal? How you are in an office? Standoffish. It has nothing to do with offices. Uh, the only reason I learned anything about that damn word was because of a series of unfortunate events. I need to give that whole sucker another read. I watched that Netflix series again, but I gotta read those books. How are people like this even able to start a business? Hi everyone, we need to talk. This situation we ha- eat on the 20th, where Blank needs to leave early, has me thinking about things after seeing the lack of willingness to help from all of you. In many situations, Blank has gone out of its way to make a comfortable work environment for you. Some of you can't work weekends, some of you can't find babysitters, and some of you only work one day a week. But all of you have been accommodating or accommodated to make the above schedule possible. This business feeds my family. This business is not there to pay your bills, it's here to pay mine. The fact that any of you passed this small problem to me is absolutely ridiculous and you should feel ashamed. I'm sorry, I gotta... I have to take just a quick second here to truly allow that phrase to marinate in my mind. The sheer... Whether or not this is a troll, I mean... I don't want people to try and invalidate things that I say by going, bruh, it was just a troll. Sure, hide behind that all you want. But that has to be one of the saddest f things I have ever heard. It's here to pay my bills, not yours. Okay, cool. Well, I need to go find a job that's there to pay my bills. Because yours mean freaking nothing to me. I'm sorry. Have a great life. I hope that whoever else you hire quits as inconveniently for you as possible. Goodbye. How much you want to bet this b tries his best not to pay anybody literally anything? Woo wee, and benefits? Forget about that. Flat Earth are claiming Earth is stationary, and the amazing evidence is because balance exists? 1600 kilometers an hour. Earth is stationary. Damn. I want to I want to go back to school and just get a a, a degree in general st some some kind of general studies degree. Just uh here you go. You got a high school diploma, but let's refresh and delve into some of these subjects a little more deeply because I don't ever ever want to end up like this because it's been too long since high school and that information has faded. There's got to be something out there. Is there a dude on YouTube that just goes through high school level courses again and again? I keep those on in the background while I study my memes or write my scripts. Matter changes state based on temperature. Water boils at 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Spill water on the floor, leave for a few hours, water gone. Temp never went to 212. You guys seriously don't believe this shit, right? Leave for a few hours and the water is gone? Uh, uh, we, uh, 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 it's 4chan, though. You gotta take that with a grain of salt. And by a grain of salt, I mean shove a Himalayan salt lamp up your ass. 99-year-old man divorces his 96-year-old after 77 years of marriage after he found out she cheated on him. I guess cheating doesn't have a statute of limitations. Statue of limitations. Mm, no, I wrote it correctly. Ah, uh, yes. That's all you do when you own a store. I agree. I couldn't just let something like that happen to me, especially where the owner said he worked hard for it. Yeah, it must be hard working standing behind a counter taking people's money. It's like working in a coal mine. Someone! 
Someone has never worked a counter or a normal job in their life where you're scared because at any moment that simple taking money job can turn into verbal or sometimes physical abuse from a person you're not allowed to defend yourself from. I can tell you stories about my time simply working for, well, I mean, I've worked for Walmart, I've worked for Target, for Comcast, for all kinds of companies, and not a single one did I ever feel truly safe. The anxiety was through the roof all the time, my dip little friend. It is hard work. Taking money behind a counter is work that we as a society have agreed is necessary. We need you to do it. Yes, self-checkouts are one thing, but how many times have you found yourself checking out and then you have to wait for someone to come help you because you're buying beer or the machine's a piece of sh**? Think about it. F you if you look down on people that do the job that you know damn well you need. I'm sorry, I get a little over the top sometimes about that, but I just hate arrogant people looking down on hard work because it's not hard work that they think is hard work. Dove? Past tense of dive, lad. Oh, dove, okay. Nah, mate, it's dived. Dove is a bird. Both are acceptable words to use for past tense of dive, though dove in this sense is said with a hard O, like in stove. Yeah, I remember being taught in like elementary school about uh, the silent E. Does anybody remember that? Was I on crack in kindergarten or first grade, whatever it was? You know, putting the E on the end of the word changes the pronunciation of the O from ah to O to, or uh in this case, I guess, with dove. I don't know. A lot of those English rules we were taught here in America are bullshit. You know, kind of like that rule, I before E, except after C, except for, I don't know, every goddamn word that has an I and E and a C in it, I swear to God. Am I the asshole for suggesting to my girlfriend she could work out of the gym to get a bigger chest? My girlfriend has pretty small breasts, which I don't really mind that much, but she recently asked me what type of them I like, and since I was trying to be honest, I told her usually big ones, like D cup or more. She seemed a bit sad about it and then asked me if I still liked her, and I said, of course, I told her her were fine too. She said it's not like she could do anything to get bigger ones anyway except for surgery and asked me if I wanted that. I told her if she wanted surgery I'd support her but she didn't have to get it for me. Also I said she could just go to the gym and do more bench presses and such and she would get bigger ones that way. She then said she had never heard about that and claimed that it wasn't true. I said plenty of guys who did it had big ones like Arnold so she could do it as well. I think she just doesn't want to put the work in. Oh my god, I... Oh my god, I'm so tired. Personal experience. Yeah, sure, buddy. Could you please explain the difference between different types of tampons? I'm genuinely curious. It's based on to size, mainly. I really hope you're joking because you could not be more wrong. From my personal experience, it's based on to size. Hey, yo, girl, what size do you wear? Girls with tight ones have smaller tampons, while girls with wide-ass vaginas, I find, stuffed the biggest they could find. Knew a girl who stuffed two at a time. But it wasn't from yo buddy. I ordered 60 or so sushi rolls because I thought they were in sale, but it turned out to be something else that as on sale. But anyways, I was also with my kids, so we were all eating sushi, and they gave me the bill, and I saw it was over $100, which I didn't have. And since me and my kids hadn't eaten 30 or so of the sushi rolls, I told the waitress I'd give back the sushi for a refund of all of the sushi we didn't eat. She refused. It should be every restaurant's policy that the customer's always right. Always. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I'm gonna derail this video one more time just because we need to stop this customer is always right bullshit. We're missing part of the phrase here, okay? It's not simply the customer is always right. The full phrase is the customer is always right in matters of taste. I actually have no proof of that, by the way. I'm pretty sure I saw it on a Reddit comment once, but I think that's the phrase we should all be following anyway. Look, it's an extortionate fucking motto to be using regardless. No, we should not blindly follow what the customer wants and says every single time. Managers, protect your goddamn employees. You know, the ones that are getting the job done and hiding you as much as possible from your own set of verbal and physical abuse. We gotta protect each other, man. There are some bitch ass mofos out there. It was Greek. LOL. Imagine talking Hindo. I really hope you get typhus. I really do. What? Green is a secondary color. Yellow is the primary. Computer color theory isn't the same as actual color theory. What does that mean? They want it for attention in their unrated games. They are. It's there, actually. Pretty sure it's there. <laughs>
No, it's most definitely toxic. CO2 emissions area, natural toxic gas. Well, I must have screwed up somewhere along my medical degree. I didn't know CO2 had toxic properties. I thought it was a simple inert byproduct of normal aerobic respiration, which at a high rate, con at high concentrations, leads to an increased respiratory rate. Tachycardia, cardiac arrhythmias, and impaired conscience. Someone Googled a lot. If not displaced from hemoglobin. But as far as it being a toxin, it's like calling water a toxin. Sure, depends on your definition of toxin. You've got a medical degree. You sure it's not a chiropractor certificate? Flat Earther explains why satellites can't move in space. Do you really think we have a satellite taking high-res photos of Pluto three billion miles away and we can get a cell signal if we venture too far outside of the city? Oh, you meant can't. And if we had a satellite out in deep space, it wouldn't be able to move. In a vacuum, even thrust doesn't have any medium to push off of. Think about a rocket launch. It pushes off of the ground, the the air. A fighter jet on an aircraft carrier has the carrier carrier lift it blast barrier up to... Oh, Jesus. I'm sorry, it's just exhausting dealing with these people. And I'm not even dealing with them. If a few treatments eliminate your infection, you're apparently not cured. They won't even cure athletes, Flip. There's no money in the cure. Only in treatment. Private industry has never cured anything because they're not looking for a cure, they're looking for a treatment. Look, there was a day when I'd be inclined to believe you, man, but I can't believe that anymore, dude. Article author thinks the sun is the only source of heat in the universe. The part about the article is about Megatron having a weakness to cold weather. Megatron's fictional home planet, Cybertron, is at least four light years away from Earth. This means it's farther away from the sun, hence it's colder. For that reason, Megatron should be used to cold temperatures by now, and since he is generally overpowered, chilly winds shouldn't be a problem for him. Holy crap. Bro, get a life. You're 23. You're... No, you're... You're... Trust me, I'm an English major. Switch majors. Made this tonight. It's so good. Wow, I love your recipes. You are recipes. LOL. Fixing my typo. Inspecting the battlefield. Not very well, though. Red thinking that wild animals belong in zoos. That wolf. Filthy rodent probably wasn't even hungry, just looking to f***ing kill something out of boredom. Wolves belong in zoos and animal sanctuaries, not the wild. Destructive as hell and completely upset the ecosystem. No, that's not true, but you know what does disrupt the ecosystem? House cats. Yeah, they really mess stuff the f*** up, so look, keep them inside. You know what I'm saying? Munchkin has to stay inside. It's for the betterment of the population of a lot of creatures. You know, like birds? Have you ever noticed how there's less chirping these days? Sure, we're paying $2.40 a liter in Australia. What the f*** is a litre? Buddy, grab your passport and go see the world. You'll find out that there are liter meter Celsius. Liter is what I believe is meant, but I've been wrong before. As far as spelling, when you win the war that began in 1776 versus the crown, you can do what you want with the language. It's called war booty? Leader is not recognized. The English language is owned by the United States. Okay, sure, you go on believing that. You... Wow. Wow. PSA, the moon's bullshit. America can, should, must, and will blow up the moon. All right, why? Let's take a look. Do we need tides? Dumb. Honestly, kind of not that cool. Unnecessary. Actual lunatic. Literally never done anything for us. Not society. Society. Yeah, I agree. Screw the moon, dude! How many cubits was Noah's cloning facility on the Ark? Why assume that Noah took live animals instead of simply gathering their embryos and sperm? Let's humble ourselves and acknowledge that people in the past were potentially as advanced or even more so than we are today. Right, yeah, the whole, the whole cloning thing. Plus, I don't think that Noah was given enough time to build this boat. Not necessarily completely by himself. I feel like his family held him in some way. Either way, build this boat and simultaneously extract eggs from all the female or females in every species and then jerk off all the males of the species and store all of that safely. The story is significantly more believable if he just grabs a couple of animals from every species, right? I mean, it sounds weird, but it's true. Not the story, I mean more believable. You know what I mean. Freemason science. Earth revolves around the sun at 66,600 miles per hour? Curvature of one square mile. 
8.666 feet. Earth tilts at 66.6 degrees. Still think it's all a coincidence? You're like that monster devil woman, aren't you? You know, the woman that thinks that monster energy is the mark of the beast. I don't think people suffered from acne until relatively recently as industrial seed oils became a prominent component of modern diets. If you look at images from the 80s and 90s, no one had acne. Oh, look at all those replies. That's a lot of 80s and 90s kids who killed themselves with Accutane coming to kick your ass. Wait, humans are animals? Well, duh. <laughs> no, we aren't. That's why we're called humans, not animals. LMAO. We show emotions and animals don't. You need to go back to school or some. Wildlife biologist here. The people are way too close. A black bear with cubs can be very aggressive, and what she will and won't tolerate isn't always clear. If she hurts someone, the state will euthanize her, and her cubs will either starve or, if caught, spend their lives in cages. You do realize a black bear will most likely just charge, right? Very rarely will they ever attack. As for the people, the bear clearly understood that they weren't a threat to them. Literally mansplaining a wildlife biologist about wildlife, you loser! Richard Branson's space flight cost about $1.5 billion. Instead, he could have given every American $1 million! Tax the rich. <laughs> oh man, did it really cost him that much? What a fucking loser, God. Look, I am all for space flight and exploring the final frontier for human evolution. Trust me, I'm all for it, and we should be putting more money towards it. But I'm really sick and tired of billionaires pulling this bullshit. What is a, uh, huh? Americans in your crooked education system, y'all never heard of a thing called BODMAS in primary school? Basically, brackets of simply multiply the brackets with the number outside it, division comes third, Multiplication fourth, addiction fifth, subtraction. The answer is two. What the hell is that fucking acronym? It's like bow body. What does it mean? I know some people are going to disagree and I'm not trying to start an argument, but why is it they have a special month, even days out of the year for certain groups to celebrate their sexuality, race, certain beliefs, but Christians don't get anything? And I'm not judging at all because I love everyone and accept everyone as they are. I'm just curious, uh, Christmas, Easter? Christmas vibes take up half the year and Christ is literally in the name. Also, motherfuckers, y'all got every single Sunday. You get to do whatever the hell you want on that day, man. Watching the Blue Origin flight and I'm reminded that the only way something like this only happens with capitalism. It's the same with Elon Musk. Our country is greater with private enterprise pushing the boundaries of humanity. Didn't the USSR launch the first satellite, though? First man in space, too. <laughs> you know, they're right, though. Billionaires can only play astronaut when there's capitalism involved. Otherwise, where the fuck get the billionaire part? How did Beyonce go number one in a hundred countries when there's only seven? Africa, Europe, Asia, and I can't remember the rest. <laughs> wow. Just ran into my neighbor and depression came up and I said, yeah, meds aren't working. I don't know what to do. And she said, have a baby. And I said, like a human child? And she said, yes. When I had two kids, I never had time to be depressed. So that is what I'll be haunted by today. Holy God, that is the worst possible decision. Dessert stomach is a real thing. Your gut expands upon contact with sugar and therefore makes room for dessert even after having the feeling of being full. Desert. Uh, dessert. Dear paleontologists, you keep digging for dinosaur bones despite all the evidence that they never even existed. If you can't accept science, then why do you work in a field that's supposed to be based upon scientific principles? Where's the evidence that they don't exist along with your post here? You can't mic drop and provide absolutely no legitimate evidence here. Not to mention that male DNA makes its way to the female brain from every lover she ever took without a condom. There are legit studies on this. There is a cost with having casual sex. It affects the female forever. Oof. Oof. Holy crap. This is also a not how women work moment. Or sorry, not how girls work. Either way, this person is insane. Bolivian salt flats, 10,582 square kilometers of flat surface. Earth is not a globe. Oh, my sweet, sweet freaking moron. I don't even know what stresses me out more. The fact that 26% somehow got 13, or the fact that the correct answer isn't even an option. It's 10. It's not. It should be 16. We read left to right, and it 
makes no sense to make Matt this stupidly frustrating. Look, I get you, I understand, but please stop. Oh, not Milo, that's cheating. The Earth is a circle made with a compass laid upon a face. It is bound at its ends and does not move. It is covered by a dome containing the sun, moon, and stars, which are circulating. There's no way this dude also went flat Earth. Has he always been a flat earther? Look, I knew he was freaking crazy, but did he really go this way? Five to 10 seconds, 5G typically leads to tunnel vision and then loss of consciousness. We have proof. <clears throat> Five to 10 seconds at four to 5G vertically typically leads to tunnel vision and then loss of, oh, they got the wrong G, you stupid idiot. So it's a gallon then. Okay, thanks for telling me. 50% larger than a half gallon? Shut the hell up, silk. Met two gods, still an atheist. Met two gods, beat the crap out of your mouth. Atheism is the lack of belief in the Christian gods specifically, not gods in general. Huh? Only women have hormones. Men have testosterone. You should know this by now. My guy, my sweet little naive man. Would you rather get paid a million dollars right now or six dollars every month for the rest of your life? I'll take option B. That's what passive income is. Find a way to make passive income. It'll change your life. All right, let's do some math here for a second. Whoo, I know my math is wrong, but hmm, that $6 every month is gonna take quite a few years for it to finally get to that same million, even without taxes, sweetie. Oh my God, look what socialism has done to my beautiful country. It's preserved our ancient history, given us healthcare, and our money is worth more than the US dollar. It's so horrible. Really? Why are thousands of people from your country hopping the border to come into the US? Italy? Are you okay, sir? The American education system at its finest again. You used the wrong fork of its. Clearly Karen isn't the only person the American education system has failed. No, he's correct. Yeah, example. Your tiny brain is producing its thoughts very carelessly today. It is causing you to say stupid things. It's not Spanish. I am and don't get sh I'm guessing Portuguese. It's the same language though? That's like if I say that Spanish and Italian are the same. They all came from Latin, but are different languages. You know, as Russian and Romanian. Now nah, Italian's different, but both Spanish and Portuguese are dialects of Mexican. Same as Russian and Belorussian, already dialects of Ukrainian. Is Mexican its own language? Cause that's not what I was taught in school. You got the car back, so what's the problem? Call center for bank. My man calls in, wondering why something from us, US, whatever, is showing up on his credit report and negatively impacting him. Look him up. Well, sir, you defaulted on a vehicle loan. Yeah, I got the car loan from you last year, and you never made a single payment. Right, I only needed the car for a few months, so I let you repo it after I was done. Y'all got the car back, so what's the problem? I wish I had, in any aspect of my life, the confidence with which these people spoke about these things so completely wrong in their own existence. Vanderbilt U, requiring faculty, staff, and postdocs to be fully vaccinated for the upcoming school year. Might want to read the US Constitution. You can't mandate that. No, you might want to read the fucking Constitution. Norway has the second longest coastline out of all the countries in the world. That's just a plain lie. I've been to Groven, I'm probably saying that wrong, and never seen a single inch of coastline. I think I might be in the right saying that it is in fact a landlocked country. Hey, would you look at that? Someone completely messed this all up. Nice, they couldn't be bothered to look at a map. You must be a female. MILFs are not just moms, cause they can't be anything cougars go after young guys in any stretch of availability. Bruh, what do you think the M in MILF stands for? Many slash much as possible. What do you think the rest of the acronym stands for? You have a much greater chance of getting murdered as a trans person than a cis person. That's unfortunate, but not being murdered isn't a human right. Who the f does mental gymnastics to a platinum metal level. When Muslims marched through London today with terrorist flags, how many Muslims come out to oppose them? None. Those were Pakistani flags celebrating their win against India, you fucking idiot. Sorry, I had to add the F word in there so that it hits a little bit harder, Abdul. Please remove the word natural and stick to gas pipeline. There is not unnatural gas pipe or whatever. They just added a nice word, natural before gas. Greenwashing bullshit. Okay. Oh my God. Stop comparing apples to oranges. Boys mostly want their hot female teacher to make a move on them. And if they don't, they can defend themselves. Girls are delicate, fragile, and can easily be overpowered by men or women. Let's be real. It's
and stop pretending like we're in La La Social Justice Land. Oh, this person must be referring to that female teacher that raped a 14-year-old boy. Yeah. We really gotta stop perpetuating this bullshit across the board. Reporter, you're the first person to ever win two Olympic tennis gold medals. That's an extraordinary feat, isn't it? Um, I'm pretty sure Venus and Serena have won about four each. Oh, right, but they're women. They're not people. They don't count. I guess I'll play devil's advocate this one time and just assume that that reporter got crappy ass information. Also, if it wasn't obvious, my tone of voice was meant to convey seriously thick ass sarcasm. So I hope you caught that. And the sub it came from was about banning them. So definitely all the haters will crawl out and give their two cents. It's two cents. This isn't a monetary exchange. Hmm. Wow. I once watched John Wick kill three men in a bar with a fucking pencil. Really? Really with that? There are 21 million penguins in Antarctica, and the population of Ireland is 6.6 .6 million. So, if all of the penguins in Antarctica decided to invade Ireland, each person would have to fight off over 3 million penguins. Jody, holy crap. Four-fifths as a percent. Fifty percent. Answer. Four out of five can be written as four-fifths and equals to fifty percent. Okay, then. All right, what do we got here? Let's see. One star. Can't see through. Zero visibility. Disappointed with the misrepresentation. The way it looks on Amazon compared to reality. You can't see through this at all. I'm returning it immediately. Or useless. Can't even see through it. This product came with a blurred cover. See images below. Don't buy. You can't even see out of the shield after the protective film is removed. How hard is it to notice that there's a film on there that you're supposed to take off? Ah, uh, yes. U.S. Army propaganda font. The military doesn't really do propaganda. There's just no need. That's what the guns and bombs are for. You sound like someone that never falls for propaganda. I use my brain more than most, if that's what you mean. So yeah, the military hasn't bothered with propaganda since the Cold War. Those days are long gone. Now with nukes, there's no need to play that game anymore. This guy needs to go and watch some of those goofy-ass army commercials, man. They get worse every year. Do you like playing Call of Duty? Come join the army. Get yourself a nice Dodge Challenger that's used with 40,000 miles with a 23% interest rate, boy. Because women generally don't think logically in linear form, the few that do might end up being engineers, but unlikely because of what is required not because of some patriarchal oppression. If you let people build bridges based upon having emotions and a vagina, people will die. You must be 13 years old, right? You've been spending a lot of time on 4chan over on B? We will never rewrite the Constitution. Liberals don't honor our country's legacy. Everything is up for sale. If we never rewrote the Constitution, you know, by amending it, you wouldn't have the right to vote, 19th Amendment, and I'd still be a slave, 13th Amendment. Please shut up. America was founded on the principles of freedom and liberty, not racism and slavery. Slavery was abolished 89 years after the United States was founded. There's dudes using Stan in a sentence that weren't even born when the song came out. LOL, another white guy thinks something that the black community made up is about him. Do we look more like a tiger or a gorilla? Gorillas are herbivores. It don't gotta be not complicated than that. Wow. We're actually closer related to chimpanzees and they're omnivores, moron. We can't eat raw meat without dying. Yes, we can. Sushi. Is it recommended? Uh, no. I mean, not about sushi, just about raw meat in general. I am always recommending sushi. Biden cheated. LOL, Donald Trump got beat by Joe Biden. Humiliating for all Trump supporters. Before you run your mouth, wait till January 20th to see who gets sworn in. Oh, okay. Hey, who was it, Susan? Who was it? They? Yeah, pretty common pronoun when you don't know someone's gender or pronouns. I learned this in third grade when I was learning English. You should have learned that they refers to two or more persons. Right. Sure it does. You... Mm. I'm not gonna say anything. We're gonna move on. Confident that this person is too far. Too far to hell. There are more trees on Earth than stars in the Milky Way. Space in infinite. The surface area of Earth isn't. You get a F, you know? I thought this was bait, and it probably is, but I did a little bit of Googling. What did it say, three trillion trees versus 400 billion stars? I mean, wow, if that's true. If not, and I just got got, still pretty interesting stuff to go Googling for. Five written questions. The nation's chief diplomat and commander, the president. Political efficacy is described as what? You said, your vote counts. The answer was, you are vote counts. Oh, okay. Women can mansplain too, honey. I'm not allowed to say anything here. I can't. 
I can't mansplain this shit. No, I gotta move on. Technically speaking, Bangladesh should have a GDP seven times that of India, cause we have seven times less people to feed. That's how that works. Oh no, it's one of the Titans from Attack on Titan. Uh, our taxpayer dollars should never go to funding abortion. I'm proud to stand with this douchebag against paying to murder babies. You are so f stupid. Plan B inhibits ovulation. It is contraception. My students are always so surprised when I tell them that Plan B does not cause abortions. An egg can be fertilized the night you have sex. Taking the Plan B pill the next day or later ends the pregnancy. Doctor. Lol. Dear Diary, today Michael, son, brother, husband, father, carpenter, hunter, rock collector, attempted to correct a doctor slash professor of biology and gynecologist talking about biology and women's reproduction production. Hilarity ensued. But he's a rock collector. He knows how this shit works. I mean, look at that guy's photo. This guy's got to know plenty about vaginas, right? And uteruses, because that's actually what's being... You know, it doesn't matter. I guess it all boils down to, do you have a uterus? You do not. Great. Shut up. Thank you for your courage. No, thank you for you are courage.